neck pain and neck injuries in a dog uh, can be very disabling for the dog. Uh, you can get muscle strains, which is common in small dogs when they jump off of couches or beds and they land funny. Uh, or you can get joint injuries uh, in certain breeds that are predisposed to them or just chronic degenerative disc disease that we see in a bunch of different breeds. So this is Bo and he's very uh, treat oriented here as you can see. Uh, and what we're gonna do is just test his neck range of motion. This is something you can do at home with your dog to see if it's their neck or if it's something different like their shoulder if they are injured. So what you're gonna do, we call this the cookie test or the treat test and you're just gonna hold a treat, one of their favorite ones that they're gonna follow. You can support the dog whether they're standing or sitting uh, and you just want them to follow the treat around for him he's not going to let me do it and his neck range of motion see how it goes all the way around and then we go back the other way with the second treat and that's perfect neck range of motion so if your dog has an injury and he's limping maybe in the front end and um, you try this test on it if it's limited then you know it's probably a neck issue and you should get it looked at if it's not limited then you know it's probably something different and you should probably get that looked at or uh, isolate to that area so you can do some treatment for it as well